The family Asterasi slash Astraci slash, alternatively Compositi slash KMPZD slash, consists of over 32,000 known species of flowering plants and over 1,900 genera within the order Asterales. Commonly referred to as the Aster, Daisy, Composite, or Sunflower family, Compositi were first described in the year 1740. The number of species in Asterasi is rivaled only by the Orchidaceae, and which is the larger family is unclear as the quantity of extant species in each family is unknown. Most species of Asterasi are annual, biennial, or perennial herbaceous plants, but there are also shrubs, vines, and trees. The family has a widespread distribution, from subpolar to tropical regions in a wide variety of habitats. Most occur in hot desert and cold or hot semi-desert climates, and they are found on every continent but Antarctica. The primary common characteristic is the existence of sometimes hundreds of tiny individual florets which are held together by protective involucres and flower heads, or more technically, capitula. The oldest known fossils are pollen grains from the late Cretaceous of Antarctica, dated to c. 76 to 66 million years. It is estimated that the crown group of Asterasi evolved at least 85. 9 mer with a stem node age of 88 to 89 mer. Asterasi is an economically important family, providing food staples, garden plants, and herbal medicines. Species outside of their native ranges can be considered weedy or invasive. Members of the Asterasi are mostly herbaceous plants, but some shrubs, vines, and trees do exist. Asterasi species are generally easy to distinguish from other plants because of their unique inflorescence and other shared characteristics. However, determining genera and species of some groups such as Hieracium is notoriously difficult. Members of the family Asterasi generally produce taproots, but sometimes they possess fibrous root systems. Some species have underground stems in the form of codices or rhizomes. These can be fleshy or woody depending on the species. Stems are herbaceous, aerial, branched, and cylindrical with glandular hairs, generally erect, but can be prostrate to ascending. The stems can contain secretory canals with resin, or latex which is particularly common among the Sicarioidae. Leaves can be alternate, opposite, or whorled. They may be simple, but are often deeply lobed or otherwise incised, often can duplicate or revolute. The margins also can be entire or toothed. Resin or latex also can be present in the leaves. Nearly all Asterasii bear their flowers in dense flower heads called capitula. They are surrounded by involucral bracts, and when viewed from a distance, each capitulum may appear to be a single flower. Enlarged outer flowers in the capitulum may resemble petals, and the involucral bracts may look like a calyx. Floral heads A typical Asterasii flower head showing the individual flowers A flower head showing the individual flowers opening from the outside in plants of the family Asterasii. What appears to be a single flower is actually a cluster of much smaller flowers. The overall appearance of the cluster, as a single flower, functions in attracting pollinators in the same way as the structure of an individual flower in some other plant families. The older family name, Compositi, comes from the fact that what appears to be a single flower is actually a composite of smaller flowers. The petals or sun rays in a sunflower head are actually individual strap-shaped flowers called ray flowers, and the sun disc is made of smaller circular-shaped individual flowers called disc flowers. The word aster means star in Greek, referring to the appearance of some family members, as a star surrounded by rays. The cluster of flowers that may appear to be a single flower, is called a head. The entire head may move tracking the sun, like a smart solar panel, which maximizes reflectivity of the whole unit and can thereby attract more pollinators. On the outside the flower heads are small bracts that look like scales. These are called filaries, and together they form the involucre that protects the individual flowers in the head before they open. The individual heads have the smaller individual flowers arranged on a round or dome-like structure called the receptacle. The flowers mature first at the outside, moving toward the center, with the youngest in the middle. The individual flowers in a head have five fused petals, but instead of sepals, have thread-like, hairy, or bristly structures called pappus, which surround the fruit and can stick to animal fur or be lifted by wind, aiding in seed dispersal. The whitish fluffy head of a dandelion, commonly blown on by children, is made of the pappus, with tiny seeds attached at the ends, whereby the pappus provides a parachute-like structure to help the seed be carried away in the wind. Schemes and floral diagrams of the different flower types, A. Disc flower, B. Ray flower. 1. Style with stigmas, 2. Anthers, 3. Corolla, 
in the ray flower three petals are joined to form a strap, in other species. Five petals can form a ligule, four, reduced calyx, four dash in many other species. It forms a pappus, five, inferior ovary fused of two carpels containing one abaxial ovule. A ray flower is a three-tipped, strap-shaped, individual flower in the head of some members of the family Asteraceae. Sometimes a ray flower is two-tipped. The corolla of the ray flower may have two tiny teeth opposite the three-lobe strap, or tongue, indicating evolution by fusion from an originally five-part corolla. Sometimes, the three-to-two arrangement is reversed, with two tips on the tongue, and zero or three tiny teeth opposite the tongue. A ligulate flower is a five-tipped, strap-shaped, individual flower in the heads of other members. A ligule is the strap-shaped tongue of the corolla of either a ray flower or of a ligulate flower. A disc flower is a radially symmetric individual flower in the head, which is ringed by ray flowers when both are present. Sometimes ray flowers may be slightly off from radial symmetry, or weakly bilaterally symmetric, as in the case of desert pincushions Canactus fromani. A radiate head has disc flowers surrounded by ray flowers. A ligulate head is all ligulate flowers. When a sunflower family flower head has only disc flowers that are sterile, male, or have both male and female parts, it is a discoid head. Disiform heads have only disc flowers, but may have two kinds in one head, or may have different heads of two kinds. Pistillate heads have all female flowers. Staminate heads have all male flowers. Sometimes, but rarely, the head contains only a single flower, or has a single flowered pistillate head, and a multi-flowered male staminate head. Floral structures flower diagram of Cardua shows, subtending bract and stem axis, calyx forming a pappus, fused. Corolla, stamens fused to corolla, gynetium with two carpels and one locule the distinguishing characteristic of Asteraceae is their inflorescence. A type of specialized, composite flower head or pseudanthium, technically called a calathium or capitulum, that may look superficially like a single flower. The capitulum is a contracted raceme composed of numerous individual sessile flowers, called florets, all sharing the same receptacle. A set of bracts forms an involucre surrounding the base of the capitulum. These are called filaries, or involucral bracts. They may simulate the sepals of the pseudanthium. These are mostly herbaceous but can also be brightly colored or have a scarious texture. The filaries can be free or fused, and arranged in one-to-many rows, overlapping like the tiles of a roof or not. Each floret may be subtended by a bract, called a palea or receptacular bract. These bracts are often called chaff. The presence or absence of these bracts, their distribution on the receptacle, and their size and shape are all important diagnostic characteristics for genera and tribes. The florets have five petals fused at the base to form a corolla tube and they may be either actinomorphic or zygomorphic. Disc florets are usually actinomorphic, with five petal lips on the rim of the corolla tube. The petal lips may be either very short, or long, in which case they form deeply lobed petals. The latter is the only kind of florid in the cardioidae, while the first kind is more widespread. Ray florets are always highly zygomorphic and are characterized by the presence of a ligule, a strap-shaped structure on the edge of the corolla tube consisting of fused petals. In the asteroidae and other minor subfamilies these are usually born only on florets at the circumference of the capitulum and have a 3 plus 2 scheme, above the fused corolla tube. Three very long fused petals form the ligule, with the other two petals being inconspicuously small. The Cicreoidea has only ray florets, with a 5 plus 0 scheme, all five petals form the ligule. A 4 plus 1 scheme is found in the Barnadesioidae. The tip of the ligule is often divided into teeth, each one representing a petal. Some marginal florets may have no petals at all. The calyx of the florets may be absent, but when present is always modified into a pappus of two or more teeth, scales or bristles and this is often involved in the dispersion of the seeds. As with the bracts, the nature of the pappus is an important diagnostic feature. There are usually five stamens. The filaments are fused to the corolla, while the anthers are generally canate, thus forming a sort of tube around the style. They commonly have basal and or apical appendages. Pollen is released inside the tube and is collected around the growing style, and then, as the style elongates, is pushed out of the tube. The pistil consists of two canate carpels. The style has two lobes. Stigmatic tissue may be located in the interior surface or form two lateral lines. The ovary is inferior and has only one ovule, with basal placentation. In members of the Asteraceae the fruit is a keen-like, and is called a sipsala. 
although there are two fused carpels, there is only one locule, and only one seed per fruit is formed. It may sometimes be winged or spiny because the pappus, which is derived from calyx tissue often remains on the fruit. In some species, however, the pappus falls off. Cypsula morphology is often used to help determine plant relationships at the genus and species level. The mature seeds usually have little endosperm or none. The pollen of composites is typically a kinolophate, a morphological term meaning with elaborate systems of ridges and spines dispersed around and between the apertures. In Asterasi, the energy store is generally in the form of inulin rather than starch. They produce iso chlorogenic acid, sesquiterpene lactones, pentacyclic triterpene alcohols, various alkaloids, acetylenes, tannins. They have terpenoid essential oils which never contain iridoids. Asterasia produce secondary metabolites, such as flavonoids and terpenoids. Some of these molecules can inhibit protozoan parasites such as plasmodium, trypanosoma, leishmania and parasitic intestinal worms, and thus have potential in medicine. Compositi, the original name for Asterasi, were first described in 1740 by Dutch botanist Adrian van Rooyen. Traditionally, two subfamilies were recognized, Asteroidea and Sicarioidae. The latter has been shown to be extensively paraphyletic, and has now been divided into 12 subfamilies, but the former still stands. The study of this family is known as synanthrology. The phylogenetic tree presented below is based on Panero and Funk updated in 2014, and now also includes the monotypic Famidinanthoidae. The diamond denotes a very poorly supported node, the dot a poorly supported node. The family includes over 32,000 currently accepted species, in over 1,900 genera and 13 subfamilies. The number of species in the family Asterasi is rivaled only by Orchidaceae. Which is the larger family is unclear, because of the uncertainty about how many extant species each family includes. The four subfamilies Asteroidae, Sicarioidae, Cardioidae and Mutazioidae contain 99% of the species diversity of the whole family. Because of the morphological complexity exhibited by this family, agreeing on generic circumscriptions has often been difficult for taxonomists. As a result, several of these genera have required multiple revisions. Evolutionary processes The oldest known fossils of members of Asterasi are pollen grains from the late Cretaceous of Antarctica, dated to 76 to 66 mer and assigned to the extant genus Dasiphon. Bereta, et al. Estimated that the crown group of Asterasi evolved at least 85. 9 mer with a stem node age of 88 to 89 mer. It is not known whether the precise cause of their great success was the development of the highly specialized capitulum, their ability to store energy as fructans. Which is an advantage in relatively dry zones, or some combination of these and possibly other factors. Heterocarpy, or the ability to produce different fruit morphs, has evolved and is common in Asterasi. It allows seeds to be dispersed over varying distances and each are adapted to different environments, increasing chances of survival. The name Asterasi comes to international scientific vocabulary from New Latin from Aster, the type genus, plus Aci, a standardized suffix for plant family names in modern taxonomy. The genus name comes from the classical Latin word Aster, star, which came from ancient Greek sigma tau rho, star. It refers to the star-like form of the inflorescence. The original name Compositi is still valid under the International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi, and Plants. It refers to the composite nature of the capitula, which consists of a few or many individual flowers. The vernacular name Daisy, widely applied to members of this family, is derived from the Old English name of the daisy, digizage, meaning day's eye. This is because the petals open at dawn and close at dusk. Asterasi species have a widespread distribution, from subpolar to tropical regions in a wide variety of habitats. Most occur in hot desert and cold or hot semi-desert climates, and they are found on every continent but Antarctica. They are especially numerous in tropical and subtropical regions. The largest proportion of the species occur in the arid and semi-arid regions of subtropical and lower temperate latitudes. The Asterasi family comprises 10% of all flowering plant species. Anemicari and Carlina epitsuchari and Biden's tripartite Asterasi are especially common in open and dry environments. Many members of Asterasi are pollinated by insects, which explains their value in attracting beneficial insects, but anemophily is also present. There are many apomitic species in the family. Seeds are ordinarily dispersed intact with the fruiting body, the cypsula. Anemicari is common, assisted by a hairy pappus. 
Epitsuturi is another common method, in which the dispersal unit, a single sipsala or entire capitulum has hooks, spines, or some structure to attach to the fur or plumage of an animal just to fall off later far from its mother plant. Some members of Asterasi are economically important as weeds. Notable in the United States are Senecio jacobia, Senecio vulgaris, and Taraxicum. Some are invasive species in particular regions, often having been introduced by human agency. Examples include various tumbleweeds, vidins, ragweeds, thistles, and dandelion. Dandelion was introduced into North America by European settlers who used the young leaves as a salad green. The twining succulent, Senecio angulatus, is used for its cut flowers, despite being an invasive weed in some places, such as Victoria, Australia, and New Zealand. Asteraceae is an economically important family, providing products such as cooking oils, leaf vegetables like lettuce, sunflower seeds, artichokes, sweetening agents, coffee substitutes and herbal teas. Several genera are of horticultural importance, including pot marigold, echinacea, various daisies, fleabane, chrysanthemums, dahlias, zinnias, and heleniums. Asteraceae are important in herbal medicine, including grindelia, yarrow, and many others. Commercially important plants in Asteraceae include the food crops like Tuca sativa, Sicorium, Cinerascolimus, Helianthus annuus, Smallanthus sanchifolius, Carthamus tinctorius, and Helianthus tuberosus. Plants are used as herbs and inherbal teas and other beverages. Chamomile, for example, comes from two different species the annual Matricaria chamomilla and the perennial Chamomellum nobile. Calendula is grown commercially for herbal teas and potpourri. Echinacea is used as a medicinal tea. The wormwood genus Artemisia includes absinthe and tarragon. Winter tarragon is commonly grown and used as a tarragon substitute in climates where tarragon will not survive. Many members of the family are grown as ornamental plants for their flowers, and some are important ornamental crops for the cut flower industry. Some examples are chrysanthemum, gerbera, calendula, dendranthema, argyranthemum, dahlia, tagides, zinnia, and many others. Senecio madagascariensis is an environmental weed in Australia, growing in wastelands, grasslands and suburban bushland. Many species of this family possess medicinal properties and are used as traditional antiparasitic medicine. Members of the family are also commonly featured in medical and phytochemical journals because the sesquiterpene lactone compounds contained within them are an important cause of allergic contact dermatitis. Allergy to these compounds is the leading cause of allergic contact dermatitis in florists in the U.S. Pollen from ragweed ambrosia is among the main causes of so-called hay fever in the United States. Asteraceae are also used for some industrial purposes. French marigold is common in commercial poultry feeds and its oil is extracted for uses in cola and in the cigarette industry. The genera Chrysanthemum, Pulicaria, Tagides, and Tenacetum contain species with useful insecticidal properties. Parthenium argentatum is a source of hypoallergenic latex. Several members of the family are copious nectar producers and are useful for evaluating pollinator populations during their bloom. Centauria, Helianthus annuus, and some species of Solidago are major honey plants for beekeepers. Solidago produces relatively high protein pollen, which helps honeybees overwinter. Thanks for watching.